happen first it will decrease the allowance not the expense because expense we already in advance make the entry guys you following my point is the allowance like a separate sort of a budget just for yes. uncollectibles yes so what happened we we in advance at the start of the period we in advance take out some budget and allowance or reserve separately for for uncollectible and in advance also we predicted that our expense going to be 98 million and we already charge it to income statement right that's it so if during the year something happened we charge it to the allowance to the budget right you following my point yeah yeah okay let me give you another or give you the what's going on here <clears throat> so what we talk about about the smart management a smart accountant or smart manager he, he will do he will in advance uh, for cost the uncollectible right so that planning is not disturbed so with forecasting he calculated the uncollectible expense and in advance he make the allowance right so this expense go to income statement and this expense will go to balance sheet now during the year what happened during year expense happened expense happens so what happened 6 million rs is not giving us amount the rs our customer is not giving us the amount 6 million so this 6 million going to be charged with the allowance not the expense so that our planning that we said that expense going to be for example this 98 million it's not going to be disturbed so we in advance already deducted in from our income statement this expense if we further deduct this expense as well so it's going to be 104 and it will ruin our planning no so we are going to charge our to to our allowance our allowance is now 98 minus 6 now allowance going to be left 92 so anything happen we are going to charge to the allowance that's it if our actual expense is greater than the allowance then we made a bad forecasting or bad planning if within the allowance and we are good forecaster good planner understand guys so this happen and we in our example it is mentioned that we have allowance as well so anything that happened will be charged to the so anything happen it will be charged to the allowance so it's going to be allowance so allowance decrease right allowance decrease because this is a contra account allowance is a contra account if it increases credit if it decreases debit so we need to charge or we need to decrease the allowance decrease in allowance means debit and we will charge it to account receivable account receivable our our account receivable going to be decreased decrease in account receivable credit decrease in allowance debit guys you understand this entry sipade minsu yeah down through yes arone ilpio ajim david this is the tricky part here we made an expense in advance and we are not disturbing that one because our planning is based on that expense 
Now, anything happen in reality, we will charge it to our reserve. And we are decreasing our, our reserve. So our reserve is a counter account for account receivable, which means if loss increases, opposite to, opposite, opposite to the account receivable, account receivable increase in debit, allows increase in credit, because this is the counter account, opposite account. And if account receivable decreases it, its credit, but if account if allowance decreases its debit. So entry is debit to credit, allowance for uncollectible to account receivable. Right, guys? Oh. So let's talk about this. How it is going to be accounted for. Early in fiscal 2013, Apple credit department determines that the RS cannot pay us. So write off is going to be so allowance going to be decreased. And this account receivable is going to be cancelled. So this is going to be zero, zero here. So we are canceling this RS. And we are decreasing our allowance as well. So balance is going to be 92. Now you understand that? What happened here? Yeah, just, just one second. I'm going to write it down. So guys, when you create allowance, entry is uncollectible account, un uncollectible expense to allowance for uncollectible. When any expense ha happen after that in reality, or the actual actual expense happened, you decrease or you charge it to allowance. So allowance increase, credit, expense increase, debit. And now you decrease the uncollectible, decrease in uncollectible is debit. to account receivable name. Decrease in credit. That is the entry, simple. Understand guys? And if you see the posting of this entry again, let's see the posting of this entry here. So this is the entry and if, when this nine debit will go to the allowance, it will be written here. And this RS, because they are not going to pay us, then we need to write off. It means we are need to delete this account. It's not like the, you turn the page, you take out the page and throw it in, in trash. No, you make an entry and this nine, is on the credit side, nine. So this nine, nine cancels, balance gonna be zero here, and their balance gonna be 92. So we charge our expense to our allowance so that our planning is not disturbed, simple. See here? Oh, nine, not six, sorry. 98 minus nine, 89. So in our subsidy ledger, we see this is our balance. And our total now account receivable is 11019. Simple, right? Uh, 
Are we even given um, the allowance? Because how do we know like what the allowance is in total? Yeah, this, <coughs> sorry. So this allowance is gonna be given to you and you need to calculate okay. through either percentage of sale method, either aging method. And then you will be given the amount that, okay, this much is not going to be paid us and then you need to make the entry, that's it. Understand? Simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you see here, the net value is 10,930, uh, 10, right? Isn't it the same value at the beginning of this question? That's what I'm talking about. The planning is not disturbed. Even though this Mr. RS, they didn't pay us, even then our net account is the same because we charge this nine to the allowance. Our planning is not disturbed. Now you get the idea? Only decrease is we cancel this RS and we charge this expense to allowance and our net real realizable value is the same. You see after that, when we charge this account, our net value is the same. How we are going to present it? If we present it here, before write off, total account receivable minus allowance 10,930. After the write off when RS didn't pay us 9 million, receivable decrease, allowance decrease, and our net remains the same. Understand? So that is yes. a movement. That's it. Yes. David, you were asking something? No, no, sir. I didn't ask anything. Okay. Now, if you if we compare these two methods, I gave you already the comparison. So the percentage of sale method will give you the the amount of uncollectible expense. The aging or receivable will give you the <laughs> will give you the amount of uncollectible receivable. Simple. It gives you the expense, it gives you the total amount. The percentage of sale method allowance. Sorry guys. 